A skin and hair routine that will last all day, road tested to the extreme. So I was up in the Highlands of Scotland at Aberfeldy Distillery to celebrate the launch of the Single Malt Discovery Collection, a limited edition set of three single malt whiskies available exclusively from Amazon.co.uk. Sold on this gift box, it makes the perfect gift for Christmas. And as part of the launch, I watched a live whiskey tasting at the distillery to learn a bit more about each of the three whiskies. And the video is still available to watch on Amazon, so you can also take part from the comfort of your own home once you've bought your pack. I'm all about investing in quality, both in my drink choices and my skin and hair products. So this is my routine. For me, it always starts with having clean skin and clean hair. This is my Oxin, it's a shampoo and conditioner I use for thicker, fuller hair. Same thing with the skin, just get everything off. I use a light cleanser, but something like this, which is recipe for men, is just gonna cleanse the skin and get it prepped. With skin and hair, you never want your skin and hair to be squeaky clean. Squeaky clean means that you've stripped too much out, and it means that actually that sort of squeakiness is the hair reacting and really wanting more sort of natural oil. I'm gonna start with a serum onto my skin. Now, what this does is to tighten and minimize the look of pores, also reduce the production of sebum. So sebum is what our hair and our skin naturally produces. It waterproofs the skin, but it's oily. So this is good for me. I've got sort of normal to oily combination skin. Just a couple of drops. This keeps my skin fresh through the day and will reduce shine. And I saw from yesterday, I didn't change my skin before I went out in the evening change my skin, I didn't change my products, I didn't wash my face, and I didn't change anything in my hair, and this, this lasted. Okay, and then I'm onto a moisturizer. This is Murad. It just mattifies the skin, so a lot of moisturizers you'll see will have, um, will be overly creamy, and will sit quite heavy, especially on men's skin. Our skin is more dense, it produces more oil, so we want something that's gonna combat that. You can see here already, my skin is looking good, it's looking clean, it's looking clear, it's looking fresh, it's got a natural sort of glow to it. Next, I'm just gonna use a little bit of eye cream. You can put eye creams on before your moisturizer, after your moisturizer. This is by Dr. Dennis Gross, and this is a vitamin C collagen under eye. This is just going to help to reduce the puffiness under and around my eyes, but also just brighten things. I know from just finding the right combination of products that this really works. Minimizing pores, reducing sebum production, this mattifying and ultra moisturizing is such a, a powerful team together that my skin really is set. From there, I'm gonna move on to my hair. I'm gonna mix a couple of pre-styling products. I'm gonna use Kevin Murphy's Anti-Gravity. This will give me volume. It will boost the hair, quite literally wrap it and oomph it. And then I'm gonna add in a little bit of this, Texture Tonic by Aveda. It's like a salt spray, but it's less, um, it's less drying, it's less abrasive, and you're gonna have all that texture, but without the crispiness. And you'll see that throughout this routine, this is all about providing the best foundation for you. If you get the right products at the start, whatever you do after is gonna be perfect. It's also about using premium quality products. You actually don't need to use much if it's a good product and it's gonna last. And um, I like good food. I like good drink, I like a good whiskey, I'm prepared to pay for it, and I'm doing the same with products. Medium heat, fast speed, work through. Okay, when it's almost dry, I'm then gonna add a bit of texture in. This really is just gonna give the hair more movement, it's gonna allow it to have uh, sort of more versatility in styling, and again, will take me day to night, so a little bit of this, give it a little shake. I'm gonna do the same again, just work through. One of the best tips I can give you for sort of hairdryer technique and etiquette is to finish on a cool blast or shot. So if you've got a cool button, push it in. You don't take that heat right down. What this is gonna do is close the cuticle of the hair, which is the outside of the hair. It's actually the surface. It's gonna protect it, it's gonna strengthen it. So it means that it's just set for styling. Okay, thick, full, voomphy, boomphy hair. One of my favorite products at the moment that I've not done a dedicated review on yet, but you have been asking about, is Moroccan Old Texture Clay. I like this because it is full of texture, it's not gonna dry hard, and actually last night, 
from the day I had my hair sort of pushed back into the night, I was in such a rush that I just pulled the hair from the back forward, applying back to front, getting that underside, just ensuring the hair has worked through. And then from there, you can style. And I'm a creature of habit, especially when I'm away somewhere. It's the same hairstyle always. And I just work into a part, just use my hands. And I don't mind parting being slightly messy. I like having volume, so use the heel of the hand. I'm just gonna get a little bit of hairspray. I'm just gonna blast it. Just misting. I'm not gonna use too much. I don't want hard hair, but I do want hair that's gonna last. And that, really, is that. My final thing is always fragrance. Aberfeldy Whiskey, where we're going to stay, Aberfeldy Distillery, is known as the Golden Dram. So I thought, pick a golden, bright fragrance that's gonna match with that. My fragrance was inspired by Aberfeldy's 12-year-old single malt Scotch whiskey. The Aberfeldy Distillery is nestled within a lush valley in the foothills of the central highlands of Scotland, within the quaint village of Aberfeldy, Perthshire, a land steeped in folklore and fables. I absolutely fell in love with the whisky. It's a honey dram with notes of spices, vanilla, and a hint of smoke. Aberfeldy Distillery is a destination that you need to visit. Not only is it set in a beautiful Highland landscape, but it is steeped in history. It was in 1898 that the Aberfeldy Stills started to produce their first single malt whisky, and today it remains a working distillery that you can explore. A tour of the distillery includes an interactive exhibition, a welcoming cafe, and most importantly, the whisky lounge. You can even fill your own bottle from their hand-selected casks. It has been a very good, a long, but good day. I'm feeling exhausted, but um, my skin is still looking and feeling good. My hair is still in place. If anything, it's just like growing and it's got far more texture. But thank you very much for watching. Hope you really enjoyed this. Also, thank you very much to John Jewison Sons for having me here in Aberfeldy. This distillery is pretty amazing. I've had some very good drinks and whiskies. I am going to have to call it a night very soon and get back to London tomorrow. But if you're new to my channel, you've not yet pressed subscribe then. Where have you been? Seriously, press subscribe right now. The button is just there. So also more video suggestions down there. Stay with me and watch them. Head to my blog, it's there. More links up there. Go to my social, Instagram. We've got loads of pictures from the strip, really good ones. Come and see there. But thank you again. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.